Okay, we are going to do a quick video. Um, basically, everything about ducklings. Um, going from an egg to a duckling. Um, we're going to start with fertility. So, to have a fertile egg, you're going to have to have a female and a male. Females will lay eggs on their own, but they won't be able to turn into little ducklings unless there's a male to fertilize them beforehand. Uh, if you have questions about eggs, I have another video on eggs that I'll put in the description. Um, otherwise, we're going to focus on what happens once it starts turning into a duckling. So, a fertile egg can sit outside for weeks, and as long as it doesn't freeze or get too hot, it's still viable. Um, and so a duck will lay an egg every day. Once there are enough eggs in her nest to sort of trigger her brain, she'll go broody. And for ducks, well, for Muscovy ducks, she gets kind of like chirpy and she fluffs out her feathers and she kind of starts acting standoffish. And uh, what that means is she's like, okay, there's enough eggs, I'm gonna sit on them. And, and once the incubation starts, that's when development starts. Um, and so once she sits on there, it'll probably take about 24 hours of that temperature, about 99 degrees, 99.5, um, to get that development starting within the eggs. And so once that happens, the yolk um, and some key cells inside the yolk or alongside the yolk start to develop into the embryo. Uh, you'll see veins form. You can candle an egg within a week and you should see veins and development two weeks or so you'll actually start to see movement the little embryo starts to move around and then three to four weeks you're going to see a fully formed little duck inside there and it's going to go dark you'll see the air sac inside get really big and then we have what's called pipping um before that if you're incubating with an incubator you're going to need to make sure that it turns the eggs keeps the humidity right keeps the temperature right um if you go on to a forum or a Facebook group and you ask what the best kind of incubator is, the answer is always going to be a duck. Um, Mama duck knows exactly what to do. She rotates the eggs. Her body moisture and warmth are exactly the right conditions for an egg, not surprising. So if you have the ability, um, use a duck as your incubator, you, you, you'll have a, a much like, higher likelihood of success. Um, we also had kind of side-by-side -side comparison last year. We got a higher yield of, uh, a higher rate of hatching at maturity using a duck rather than an incubator um, by about 20%. So it's worth it if you can. So once you've got a developed egg that's, we'll say, ready to hatch, you have something called pipping, P-I-P-P-I-N-G. And what the first stage of that is called internal pipping, which is when the little embryo breaks into the air pocket inside of the egg. Um, up until that time, that little duckling has been using, uh, basically it's like a placenta, but it's, it's an oxygen exchange between the duck's circulatory system and the outer shell of the egg. Uh, I can also link a description or in the description a video of how that works. It's absolutely fascinating. So once the duck breaks into the air pocket of the egg, it'll start to actually breathe. And it can't do that for too long inside the egg. So what happens is it will externally pip, which means it uses the little egg tooth on its beak to puncture a hole in the egg and then you'll see that. So you won't actually be able to see the internal pip without a flashlight. You can definitely candle it and you'll see like a shadow on the inside of the air pocket. It looks kind of like there's like a 3D, there's something inside there. That's an internal pip and you'll definitely see movement. External pip, uh, you'll actually see the shell broken. And what happens is the, the duckling will kind of circle around the whole edge of the egg, cha -cha 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 -cha, and it will make a perfect little ring and then it's gonna push itself out and it's gonna pop that little cap off. And this is really cool because today, July 2nd, 2019, we actually have some eggs hatching um, and you can see an egg down here. I'm gonna try not to piss off mom. This is like the tamest you'll ever see a broody duck. Usually they are biting and fighting and saying, get the heck away from me. So as you figure out your duck's mood, definitely respect her space. This duck is like the chillest duck you'll ever meet. So I don't know if you can see down here, we have a baby working on it. And there's a ring going around the entire eggshell. And that little cap's about to pop off. 
might even do it on camera but we'll see um, so while we're taking a look at this you'll probably see it try and push a little bit but what's gonna happen is it's gonna pop out of there if you're wondering like is my egg still good is it still gonna pop out some things to look for there are the others um, we actually have a couple of eggs in here that probably aren't gonna make it which is okay it happens but things to look for if you're like I don't know if it's still a viable egg one thing is movement you should be able to see movement other thing is a yellowing that happens so if you are looking at the outside well, don't worry baby it's just a shell I'm just gonna show the people if you look at the outside of a shell of, of, of one of these eggs I'm not gonna take it from her because she's gonna wig out but you'll see kind of some dark splotchiness on the outside that looks maybe kind of like it could be coagulated blood sometimes that happens if a uh, a baby or an embryo is trying to work its way out and it doesn't do it properly it might burst a blood vessel it might die in the process but if you candle it you might see this really intense kind of mustardy yellow color coming through the egg that's usually a sign that it's not gonna make it or that it's uh, expired so once that little baby pops out you've you've got a, a hatchling if you are doing it uh, with an incubator and you notice like oh this egg pipped externally but it's been more than a day and I'm worried about it you can assist at hatching um, obviously nature versus nurture if you um, help an assisted or if you assist in a hatching then you might be you know weakening the genetics of your flock if you know that bird tends to need help hatching then maybe the next generation might and on and on so it's up to you but if you want to help it hatch you you can I'm going to include in the link a, a guide to assisted hatching. It's a very delicate procedure. Essentially, you work your way real slow. If you see blood, stop. Um, and just make sure that you're on the right timeline. Every kind of bird has a different length of time for incubation. Muscovies have some of the longest. They're like 30 days. This one actually clocked in probably around 32, 34. So, and, and that's just from her like sitting down day one. So I do think there's like a day or two of warm up temperature, um, but you can easily find online, like what is the normal incubation timeline for so-and-so breed of duck or bird? Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. In terms of ducklings, ducklings are pretty hardy little buggers. You might've seen her stepping on them from time to time. They are uh, pretty much ready to go about an hour or two after they hatch. They won't eat or drink. They won't, let me rephrase that, they won't need to eat or drink for the first couple of days. So if you're worried about, oh, my duckling isn't drinking or eating, generally that's okay. Um, by day three or four, I would suggest that uh, you make sure that they see you playing with water or food if you if you're raising the ducklings if mom's doing it You really don't have to worry. Just make sure that they can reach the food and water um, But yeah, it, sometimes you'll see a duckling come out that like can't keep its balance or kind of behaves funny You might have some kind of developmental issue there um, if it's developmental in terms of their cognitive wherewithal like if, if their brain just isn't quite wired the way it needs to be then they might end up just dying because they can't get themselves to food or water otherwise if it's a leg problem that sometimes happens and there are remedies for um sort of <laughs> you kind of like splint their legs together so that they don't splay out so much um and that usually helps but you might look into that if uh or, you know figuring out whether or not your goofy little duckling might have something physical or something cerebral going on there. So I think we covered pretty much everything. Um, what do you think, JD? Did we forget anything? You are the best mama. She is so chill and I love it. Let's say hi to a baby. Oh, hey, hello, baby. Wow. Happy bird day. Get it? Yeah, I think that's about it. Feel free to comment questions or or comments, if uh, amend anything that I said or or offer other suggestions. But um, happy hatching! Enjoy ducklings for the first few days because they are the smallest and cutest that they will ever be. About the size and weight of an egg, unbelievable! So cool, so cute. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>